Hi, it's Keith from eMotors Direct, and today we're talking IEC motors, specifically the Levert brand of motors. These are becoming more common in North America. Typically, we work with motors built to NEMA specifications, but these IEC motors are being requested more and more. I see them a lot in the food manufacturing industry when maintenance managers are replacing motors on pieces of equipment that are originated from Europe. My favorite feature of the Levert motors is how easy they are to customize. A lot of IEC metric motors are flange mounted. The two common flange types are B5 and B14. When purchasing a Levert motor, double check if you require a flange. On the eMotors website, we have added dash B34 or dash B35 to the end of the catalog number to indicate if the motor has a flange already installed. If you cannot find your required motor with a flange pre-installed, you can also purchase an off-the-shelf motor plus the flange and we'll install the flange for you. Give our team at eMotors a call for help to select the correct motor and flange combo. Another common mechanical modification is the foot position. Most NEMA motors will have the F1 connection box by default, meaning the conduit box is on the left-hand side of the frame, whereas the IEC motors typically come in an F3 assembly. An F3 conduit box is mounted on the top of the motor. Adjusting the feet position comes into play when you're mounting the motor in a tight space. You might need to move the conduit box to allow the motor to fit. And adjusting the feet on these Levert motors is easy to do. A lot of our customers handle this step on their own. Or you can also request this modification before purchasing the motor. Either way, you can order your Levert IEC motor exactly how you need it. Contact our team at eMotors Direct for help sourcing your Levert IEC motor. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.